Spurgeon here with RevZilla, and in this video, we're going to break down the Merlin Elmhurst wax jacket available at RevZilla.com. So what you're going to see from the Elmhurst is this is an update over the old hamstall. And we're going to see a couple of different things here, mainly a style change, a little bit more sophistication as you're looking down the sleeves, just some cleaner lines at the cuff on this. And the biggest change you're going to see from a functionality standpoint is that we're now going to have a Risa Active waterproof liner in here, which is simply more breathable than the old one. Brian, go ahead and show us how breathable it is. Oh, I tell you, you, just take a deep breath and it just flows. Of course, that is not what we're talking about. It simply allows your body to expel moisture, so it keeps water out, but it allows some of that heat to escape. And as always, we have our lovely high-vis Brian back with us today, who is wearing the jacket in a large. Brian has a 42-inch chest. He stands at a commanding six foot, and he weighs in anywhere between 195 and 200 pounds. We are entering the holiday season, so he's working on slowly adding that turkey weight to his belly. Now what you're gonna notice too is that there are a variety of different sizes, small up to 3XL and three different colors. Javis Brian is currently a little bit dull today. He is wearing the olive color. There's also a black as well as a navy option, all of which will come in around the $330 price point. Now this is gonna be a top of the line option within Merlin's line. You've got some really great classic style with that wax cotton. It is going to be a Haley Stevenson wax cotton, eight ounces, and you are getting impact armor in the elbows, the shoulders, as well as the back. So a full armor complement with this. And like I said earlier, the biggest change that we're gonna see from a functionality standpoint is the fact that you're gonna have that active Risa waterproof Z-liner, which means the waterproof is baked into the jacket. You can't remove it. And that's where two season cool weather functionality is really coming into play. This is a jacket that you would wear in the spring, the fall. You could stretch it a little bit into the cooler months of the year, but really this isn't something you want to wear into the summer months because it's just going to be too warm. And there is going to be a removable Outlast liner as well. So as we work our way through this, keep in mind that with Outlast, it's a temperature regulating liner. It's not necessarily thermal. As you begin to overheat, it absorbs the heat and works with that active Risa to keep you cool. And then as you begin to cool down, it releases that heat back to you and it helps to keep you warm. So there's a lot going on with this particular jacket. Working our way down from a styling standpoint, you're gonna have a little bit of quilting on the shoulders. You are gonna see some refinement in the, uh, the inner Velcro adjuster on the bicep. And as you get yourself down to the cuff on this, one of the things that I like is they've changed. They've taken that leather cuff on the old one, they've removed it, and you just have a nice small little, oh, look at you trying to hold my hand, a little, a little small cuff down there at the base, and then you are gonna have that zip in, zip out. I do always appreciate when you are our models. You get me. Um, and as we take a look down the front on this, asymmetry coming into play, you are gonna have the pocket over the left breast, and you are gonna have a vertical pocket with a zip entry over the right breast, and then dual hand wear pockets on either side. And Brian, go ahead and face sideways for me. So what you'll notice, hit the riding position. You are gonna have gussets at the top of the shoulders. Um, the gussets, I would have loved to have seen them just extend down a little bit further, but they do help to work just a little bit more mobility into the jacket you're gonna see. And like I mentioned, you are gonna have that full armor complement working its way down the elbows, the shoulders, and you're gonna see the back protector, the outline kind of coming into play here too. Velcro adjusters at the side, just so you can cinch down that waist. And Brian, face backwards for me. Starting with the top and just kind of taking a look down the back, you have a little bit of a leather accent <clears throat> at the top of the collar, Merlin logo, very minimal branding on the jacket. You're gonna see it right there. C level one back protector, and then you are gonna have quilting at the base of the jacket, but clean lines throughout. Brian, what I want you to do now is just face me. Just look me right in the, there you go. Stare at me like you're looking into my soul. On the left-hand side, asymmetry is gonna continue through the jacket. You're gonna have a small little zip entry pocket at the bicep. You can use that as a pocket for your credit cards or any kind of important documents that you don't want the fuzz to find because they're not likely to check right there. Brian, face forward and unzip for me. Now, the one thing I will notice at the snap on the collar, I would love for them to have a snap back just to hold this into place. As it stands right now, if you don't, if you leave it unsnapped, it does have a tendency to kind of flap around on you while you are riding. Hold the left side open for me, and I'll just go ahead and we'll pull the right side open as well. Look at that visibility coming through. You are gonna have pockets on the inside of the liner as well as the inside of the jacket. So this is that, or this is that uh, temperature regulating outlast material that we talked about that is a full sleeve removable liner to help keep you warm. And then on the inside, if you pull that out, just a very clean line jacket on the inside that can be worn comfortably with a t-shirt, no real excess in mesh. You are gonna have that Z liner in there that is gonna be your waterproof membrane. And then you are gonna have one final pocket on the inside of the jacket over here, which is just going to be your Napoleon pocket. Sir, 
me go ahead and zip up. Simple jacket from Merlin, the Elmhurst, which is replacing the Hamstall in Merlin's line. This is gonna be that jacket that you want if you just want that everything cool weather spring fall jacket with a little bit of that wax cotton style. Now the fail point of wax cotton is that it's not necessarily 100% waterproof, but the way that Merlin has added in that Risa waterproof membrane to the jacket gives you a jacket that looks classic in its styling, but it maintains waterproof protection. Now there's a lot of folks out there utilizing Merlin, and if you wanna hear what they have to say, now would be the time to click the info button on your desktop or mobile device, which will allow you to read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there putting the Elmhurst through its paces. If you have more questions for any of our gear geeks as to which jacket is right for you and your riding style, now would be the time to just pick up the phone and give them a call 877-792-9455 or simply shoot over an email to cs at revzilla.com. I want to thank you for joining us for this look at the Merlin Elmhurst Wax Jacket. I'm Spurge, and this, of course, is High Vis Brian. Enjoy the ride.